it's Alyssa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome, here today in the Villa Borghese Park with the beautiful uh, Casina Valadier just behind me and these May roses to talk to you about Rome in May. So what is the weather like? What should you pack? What should you wear? What's happening? What are some great things to do and what can you expect in Rome in May? Let's get started. If you're new to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome where I bring you the best of Rome and beyond with lots of great things to see and do, wonderful places to eat and drink, and plenty of secret spots along the way. So please subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button while you're at it. One of the first things I want to tell you about Rome in May is how flowery it is. This is a great month to visit Rome to see flowers everywhere. During the entire month of May, you can visit the Rosetto Comunale, which is Rome's rose garden. It's famously open only during the month of May, although it actually opens on Rome's birthday, which is April 21st, and it's open through about the first week or so of June. And it actually reopens in October for a couple of weeks, but May is when the roses in the rose garden and around Rome are at their most beautiful. At this point, most of the early spring flowers like wisteria and juda trees have pretty much finished and you're not gonna see them in May, but we do start getting beautiful roses and azaleas and bougainvillea and jasmine. So the city smells amazing and it is so beautiful to see the flowers everywhere. As you might be able to tell from my video, it's not that hot of a day today in Rome. It is a pretty normal day for May. May is never quite as hot as I think most people expect it to be in Rome. In early May, we are really in that typical spring weather where you've got these rainy days, little bit gray days. It can be beautiful and sunny, but not really that warm. We get those really, really warm May temperatures and beautiful sunny days towards the second half and even the end of May. I have a video for you guys about how to pack for Rome in spring. And one of the things I tell you is to be comfortable in your dress. I also say to layer. And you cannot go wrong bringing a pair of waterproof shoes, a really, really lightweight waterproof shell, and a travel umbrella. On the other hand, the weather in May in Rome is really perfect for sightseeing because it's not too hot. I have told you in other videos, when you visit sites like the Vatican, any Christian sites, you need to have covered shoulders, covered knees. And in May, this is comfortable and you are not gonna feel overheated. This is also great weather for outside dining. So you can eat outside during the day, won't be too hot. You can also eat outside during the evenings. Definitely bring a cardigan or a jacket and a scarf for dining outside in the evenings in May because it just might be a little bit cool. Because of the beautiful weather and because of the long days, this is a great month to do some sightseeing outdoors in the evenings. Towards the end of April, all the way through the end of October, the Vatican Museum starts offering evening visits on Friday and Saturday nights. Also, usually the Colosseum starts offering night visits around this time of year. You've got to check the website because um, it's, a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit iffy when they offer this and tickets can be scarce, but if you want to do a night visit to the Colosseum, usually May is one of the great months that you can do this. And you may find opportunities to visit lots of other things at night in Rome as well. There are evening walking tours. We sometimes have a tour on the Via dei Fori Imperiali. It's more like a light show, which is absolutely fantastic. So if that's happening, it's a great thing to do in May. Rome is one of the greenest cities in all of Italy, and we have lots of beautiful parks and gardens. So this is a great time to visit parks, hang out in some of these gardens that we have. Some of them are public and free. Others are parts of villas. We have a zoo if you want to bring your kids to the zoo. There is a lot to see and do outdoors if you want some green in Rome in May. There's really only one holiday that you need to know about in Rome in May, and that is May 1st, May Day. Most things are open, but some things are closed, so you just want to check. I have a page about Rome events in May, and I keep you updated every year with what's open, what's closed. Also, there is usually, on this day, a very big concert 
in San Giovanni, right in front of the church of San Giovanni in Laterano. So you may want to head there if you want to partake in this all day concert, or you may want to avoid the area if you want to avoid big crowds. Some other events happening in May, the BNL Tennis Championships, there's the Komen Race for the Cure, and a few other little events that month. So again, check my page about Rome events in May to find out all the latest for when you're gonna be here. What foods are in season in Rome in May? You know, in Italy, the foods tend to be regional and of course seasonal. This has been changing in recent years. We're starting to see foods that used to be seasonal, we're starting to see them kind of throughout the year. This is a time of year when I would never order an artichoke. For me, artichokes are finished by May. They're still around, but they're kind of getting stringy and chewy, but you will still see them. You'll see them on menus. So if you want artichokes, you can get them. They're just not really in season right now. We're starting to see fava beans, peas, asparagus, strawberries. Those summer stone fruits are not really here yet, but they're on the way start to see them in the supermarkets and tomatoes. Tomatoes are starting to turn up in the supermarkets and they're starting to look really, really yummy and juicy. So this is a time when you can start getting those caprese salads. So is May low season, shoulder season or high season? Guys, I get this question all the time and when I tell people that May is peak, peak, peak season, people are shocked. They don't understand why. I thought everybody came in the summer. No, May, spring is high season because people want to be here when the weather is beautiful, when it's not too hot, not too cold, these beautiful flowers, the days are long, and it's comfortable to sightsee. So April and May are very busy months in Rome, so prepare yourself for crowds. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video about visiting Rome in May. I hope you find it helpful with your trip planning. Don't forget to check on the website. I've got lots of pages about visiting Rome in spring, in April, in May, what to pack, etc. So check those pages out. They're all linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the like button while you're at it. See you at the next video. Ciao for now.